Hello friends, uh, you are welcome again to Musti Academy and uh, today we are looking into the request video which is uh, the OAU Pursuit TMA question. It is not a, news to, a new news to every one of us that the Propass Femi Outlaw University Pursuit TMA form is out. So we are taking our time to actually help students to prepare for their physics the chemistry and for those also that are writing maths. Okay. Here on the physics channel we are going to be doing different series of the post TME questions for Obafemi Aulo University and some other university as soon as they announce the sale of their phone. If you are new to this channel you can consider subscribing to the channel provided you find anything interesting. And if you are writing post TME I will always advise you to watch the video to the end and if you have any question based on the concept you can kindly search on the words on the playlist look for the topic and watch the in-depth concept that talks about the topic so we are going to get started with the first question of today the first question we have is uh, what is the dimension of pressure under the dimension analysis we represent dimension in terms of mass length and time so, understanding the formula for pressure from junior classes, we say, I will start with our pressure. Pressure is given as a force on a body that is acting perpendicularly per unit area. There are different extra units of pressure, but I am not going into that. Having said that, the force acting on a body from junior classes is mass times acceleration, which we all call F equals to M A. I will take that A as a small letter A so that we don't have confusion with respect to what we do. So F equals to M A. A there is acceleration of an area is length times length. In continuation, we can say pressure will now be equals to mass is M. Acceleration is a velocity over time. So write it as L T raised to power minus 2. So what I'm saying is that uh, acceleration dimension is given as Lt raised to the power minus 2. Excuse me, divided by L raised to the power 2. As L times L is equals to L squared. So cutting this one, one of this L we go to cancel one of these two L's. So we are leaving, final answer will now be equals to N. L on that when it comes for it to be L to the power of negative 1, then T to the power of negative 2. This, for some of you, you have memorized that pressure as the dimension of N, L to the power of negative 1, T to the power of negative 2, which is the correct answer to our first question. And by option, it tallies with twice A. Admit, yes, question. Thank you very much, Admit. The second question we have says, uh, we are to calculate the length of a displaced pendulum that passes that passes its lowest point twice every second. Under the concept of SHM, you might have studied this and circular motion. That a period of an undulating bulb is given in terms of two pi square root under root, the way I call it, of L by G. This is the formula, one of the two formulas we use to relate. The motion of a simple or a pendulum bulb. Now, in ordinary level. Now, to understand it better, we are looking for the length L. We are given G, even if it is not given, it's taken to a constant of 10 meters per second square, unless stated otherwise. Now, having said that, the period is said to be a period of an undulating bulb or a pendulum bulb moving to and fro, you know, to and fro. That is a complete oscillation. Period is given as the total term taken to complete an oscillation. Remember that that is the way you write it in junior classes, the time to complete an oscillation. Remember that formula? So so far it is moving, it is moving twice every second. So twice every second simply means you have a, for every second it's moving twice. Moving twice every second means the period is one. How? Because before you can talk about one oscillation. It must have moved for a to and a fro. Simple pendulum is a kind of motion in which acceleration is directed towards a fixed point. 
Now, I haven't said that. So what I'm saying here is that the time is like saying twice in one second, every second. So maybe the period is a one. So substituting this, we have one equals to two pi square root of the length you are looking for divided by g which is 10. <coughs> Excuse me. So to remove the square root here from junior classes, we square both sides. If we square both sides, you can write that here, but you don't need that. It's a post here in question. Squaring both sides, you have one square is one times one is one. Two square is four. Pi square is pi square like this. Then multiply by, when you square the square root, the square will take away the square root. You have L over 10. So on continuation from this side, I'm going to have, I just cross multiply directly. 1 will take 10 here. 1 times 10 is 10. Is equals to, I have a 4 pi square. Uh, I have cross multiply. Here I make a subject of formula. That will be 10 divided by 4 pi square. Pi is 3.142. So this is uh, here 1, 2.254 pi square. From simplification on calculator, this will give you 0.253 meter, which we tally with one option there. I think that is choice B. At least you can confirm that. The next question. Thank you. When a ball rolls on a smooth level guide, the motion of its center, the ball is rolling on a smooth level. Guide. So the center is rotating rotationally, and that is the answer to that. Next question, please. Thank you. A vehicle of mass M is driven by an engine of power P from rest. Find the minimum time it will take to acquire speed, I think speed V, not Y. How do I know? Because all options are in terms of V. Please note that in my guest room. Now, so knowing this one directly, we can say solution. We say solution to this will be equals to the power, average power equals to work done divided by time. So the average power is work done by the body divided by time. So the work done by a body has been converted to kinetic energy. I've talked about that under the concept of work energy and power. We talk about different type of work and conservation of energy, work energy theory. So doing that directly, guys, it has driven what the work done as, as is used to what to drive the what the engine of a car. So motion, it has gained motion. And when something gains motion, work has been converted to energy, and you say it has the type of energy you say it is a kinetic form of energy. Remember, if work done is not equal to the energy on the what on the on the engine, the energy is now half mv squared because it's doing work, the engine is doing work. So you can now say that you know, the power, average power here will now be equal to work done now is in terms of energy, half mv squared divided by time. On simplification, what you are doing here, my dear student, is just to make the time square formula. You might cross multiply from this side, and I'll finish up by this side. I love finishing my work at this side. So making T square formula will give it nothing but mv squared divided by 2p. I hope students can finalize this. And if you watch by the nature or the position of the answer, the correct answer to this is nothing but uh, choice B. Choice B is correct, and admin can move to the next one. Thank you very much, my dear admin. The next question before us here says, uh, a boss of mass 40 gram, kilogram, sorry, is being dragged along the rope, inclined at 60 to the horizontal. Let us draw realistic stuff to understand that question there is a grant so this is a grant there's a grant and uh, there is a mass that is inclined at 40 so inclination angle is always like that then the box is standing there so if there is a box of mass of uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, the mass of the box is 40 kilogram. Tension always acts away from point of contact. It is dragged horizontally at an angle of a 60 degrees, as you can see. The tension is always away from point of contact. This is the way 
So tension acts in this point. As you can see, no matter how the diagram looks like, you can resolve them into two components. So dissolving this into two components, my dear student, let's do that together. So resolving opposite, I will just complete the diagram for ease of access for you guys to understand. Completing the diagram, as you to see, the direction is going to that side. So this is an opposite. In terms of opposite, hypotenuse is a T sine 60. Then it is on the ground. So this is adjacent and hypotenuse. This is T cos 60. So I have resolved the two components of the direction with respect to the tension of the body. Tension acts away from the point of contact. So we move on. I said the frictional force, so as, that means as I am actually dragging this body towards this direction, friction will oppose it because friction is a force that opposes motion. I hope you guys understand that. So when friction opposes motion, we can calculate the net force that we act on the body. The body will accelerate provided the force acting on the body is greater than the frictional force. I hope you remember that from junior classes. So if that is the case, we can say Definitely, most definitely, we can say that the force that we add on this body, I can say F net, I hope I'm not cutting, yeah, F net will be equal to the force acting on the body, which is T cos 60 degree minus the frictional force. All right, frictional force as FR. What am I saying? If I am acted upon by a body, a body of mass, let me say I have a force of 5 newton on the body, I acted 5 newton force on the body, and there's a friction of 2 newton on that same body. Please, that can stay on here, on, of 2 newton on the body. So you can say the net force that we act on the body will be 5 newton minus 2 newton. So I'm moving the body <coughs> by an approximate of 3 newton. So that's exactly what we are doing here. T consists is the force acting on the ground, but there's a friction. Friction of what? 100. So the net force will now be F net will be equal to T. I think the tension should and the tension of the rope is 300. So I'll just do 300 cos 60, I hope you are there, minus the frictional force of also given to be 100. So this is just calculator, or this is half. That's 150 minus 100 is 50 Newton is the force that is acting on the body when you remove friction from it. That is what we call the net force. So, answer the question, how much work is done dragging the body through a distance of 4 meters? So, let's drag the body. Work done, we just talked about that, is the force multiplied by perpendicular distance in the direction of the motion. You can see? So, F is the force plus 50. The perpendicular distance is 4 meters. So, solving the 50 falls at 200 joules will be the right answer. And that will tell me with option, option B. Pardon me? Next one. Thank you very much. This says a body is projected from the head surface with the hope of letting it escape from the head. From the head gravitational field. Please, apologies. What is the minimum escape velocity? Directly from my topic on this particular channel, we are actually doing this you are going to see the topic of gravitation. There we've talked about different type of what? Different type of uh, formulas and derivations. One other day I think we're able to talk about the escape velocity and uh, doing that directly. I don't think we have to waste time on this. This is just a question of formula or memory itself. So we say velocity, escape velocity is equal to square root of 2g r. I take the r as the radius of the r. We come across this one that the body will escape if the kinetic energy is what is equal to the what the potential energy. So it is that that will pull the body and escape from what from its what from its from its orbit or from the satellite. So if we do that, we can say velocity is equal to two times I think g is always ten unless stated otherwise times six thousand four hundred, which is given. Then you press the square root. If you do this, this should be. 11.3 kilometer. You can confirm that in seconds because I know it's a constant from my derivation. So I think that should be choice A. Hopefully, if, I'm, if I make any mistake, you are always what allowed to make comment on this section. 
because uh, mistakes can be made. But the truth is, uh, if we make mistakes, it will be maybe from calculator or any other simple, simple things which are oversight. So the next one, admin, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the next is question on uniform rod PQ of mass 2 kilogram and length 1 meter is pivoted at the end P. If a load of 14 newton is placed on, on it at its center, you have to find the force that should be applied vertically, vertical force at Q to maintain the rod in equilibrium. Now, understanding the concept of equilibrium, we might draw a uniform rod, and from that uniform rod, we might try as much to explain the concept. The uniform rod is said to be PQ in dimension, so we take P at this end, and we take Q at the other end. Now, the length of the whole rod is said to be one meter length. So that means if it is pivoted at the middle center of gravity, this place will be half of one meter, is 0.5 meter, and the other end there will be 0.5 meter. You have this. Now, at that middle, which is the center of gravity, the mass of the floor, the mass of the block is 2 kg. Mass we add at the center. The center is 2 kg. So there is a mass of 2 kg, which I will convert to weight. We all know that weight of a body is mass multiplied by the gravity. So if the mass is 2, multiply by gravity, that's 10. Everybody knows this. That's 20 newton. 20 newton is the first mass acting in. Remember, I think there was another load that was applied also at the same time. That's another 14. So the total load that is applied here is nothing but what? 20 plus 14 is 34 newton. Admin, hope this is not cutting. Thank you very much. So now, here, I was, I'm now looking for the vertical board that must be applied at Q. So this is the force that is applied here. Let me call it F. It's what I'm looking for. And from the knowledge of moment of force, I know that upward turning movement must be equal to the downward turning movement. If I follow that law, I will take moment about P. If I take moment about P directly here, yes, then let me finish up at this side. Taking moment about P, moment is force times this time. The force here is F times the distance from Q to P is 1 meter is equals to downward moment. The force here is 34. The distance from this point to this point is 0.5. So that means the force I'm looking for because F times 1 is F. 34 times 0.5 is 17 Newton. So all I need to do here is just look at the option there and I can see here that it is 20. The next one I Thank you very much. The energy contained in wire, when it extends by 0.2 meter, by a force, when it extends to 0.2 meter, this should be 2, by a force of 500 Newton. Even though we are doing, though we are doing in our physics, we can also correct ourselves in simple, simple English. So, we know energy in the wire under the topic of elasticity is half Ke square or half Fe. Please note that. So if you go directly because of time, half times the force here, note nothing to convert is 500 multiplied by 0 0.02. I cut this one, 2 here, 1, 2 times 250 is 500. So if I multiply 250 times 2 over 100, somebody say 5, 2 over 100, 2 over 100, that's 1 over 50, and that is 5 too. Please, you always confirm everything I'm doing. I can make mistakes, like I said, I am not good. The next question, please. Now, the next one says, what is the acceleration due to gravity G on the moon? If G on Earth is 10 meters per second squared. Now, directly, this type of question is under the concept of satellite motion available on this particular channel we are now. You can check it out if you have time to watch the concept. So now, the relation we don't talk about in our derivation was that relation between G in space and G on Earth is that the G on Earth, G Earth, is equals to one six, approximately one six of G in space. Oh, G in space, sorry. When I say G of moon, I'll just change this. I don't have time to explain it. It's equals to one six of G of Earth. So directly, that means I can solve the question 1, 6 of the G on Earth is giving us 10 meters per second squared. So this is 1.666 repeating 
which is approximately 1.67. So directly, let's deal with the correct space. That means you can move to the next question. Now, question 10 of 24, we have uh, a 5 kg block is released from rest on a smooth plane. The meaning of smooth plane means that, that there is no friction. So in as much there is no friction, I think we are good to go and we don't need to resolve ourselves. And incline at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. horizontal. Now, what is the acceleration than the plane? So we can draw a realistic example. You can watch friction concept if you don't know this. Like I do say, this is, I think this can be move up, moved up if that is possible. So let's see that. So let's just manage what we have or manage this. So it was inclined at an angle of 30, so a condition angle to this diagram, not going to scale. As usual, that is my word. So you have inclination angle is uh, 30 to the horizontal. Horizontal is this, for those who don't know. So the body will start accelerating. If there is a friction, friction is always here. Coefficient of friction is written as mu. And you remember f equals to mu, but there is no friction because it's smooth surface. Friction is what absent. So if the block is here, I'm not drawing any diagram to stop. So for this thing to support to slide down, the body will start sliding if what the forces approaches the value of mu n. Remember that formula you've taught learned in junior class that frictional force equals to mu and n. N I call normal reaction. Some of you call this R. It's the same thing. So now N is mg or R is mg. So that's that. So we resolve this block there into two components. I just want to quickly talk about it. This is a simple question that doesn't even need that. So that if you know them already, you need to waste your time. So I'll resolve the first one like this. May I pick a broken line, like a far broken line? Maybe it should be broken. So the first one will be like that. And the second for normal reaction, I will take it like this. Are you guys to see? So directly I can say, just for understanding sake, so corresponding angle I call this is 30 degree. Remember, we say weight equals to mg, whatever. So I want to resolve, this is opposite. So horizontal force that is coming is now equals to W sine theta. And that is what we are talking about. So if the weight of the body is is this one so we say w sine theta w cos theta so if this is the weight so we now resolve the two components the one acting normally vertical is w cos theta horizontal is w sine theta and that is how we come about that for most of you who always wonder how they come about that so this is just a good illustration for you to get that so i'm not going into that but for here there is no friction so if i use my direct formula i can say the force acting on the body is equals to m if no friction so nothing to say f equals to mu n so f is m a directly will work so the force acting on this body the force is horizontal force because if you are talking about that so we can say f equals to m horizontal i told you mg sine theta vertical is mg cos theta equals to m a so on simplification what happened m get cancelled out so we say acceleration you are looking for is just g sine theta. So <clears throat> that's why I said this is not work. So substitute g, g value is ten given, then the angle is sine 30. Sine 30 is half. So just say 10 divided by 2. Hope I am not cutting. And this is 5 meters per second square. And that will be the correct answer. Please 5 meters per second square is same thing as 5.0. That's the right answer. Next one. Thank you. Now, a rectangular metal block, a rectangular metal block is a, now, a rectangular metal block, sorry guys, now, a rectangular metal block of volume 10 to the power negative 8 at this temperature is heated to this temperature. So, if its coefficient of linear expansion is this, per Kelvin, the percentage change in of its volume is dash. So I just want you to know the percentage change in what of its of its volume, change in volume. So I need to get the new volume. So from your expansivity class, cubic expansion, 
you might have also studied that uh, directly you can apply the change in length or the change in volume we have three types i think for ordinary level linear area which is also called superficial then cubicle which is also called volume anyhow you call it just make sure you know so the new volume will be equals to directly the old volume open the bracket one plus gamma change in temperature available concept available on this same channel you are watching this video you can check out some what some cool formula and some direct formula that will help you so on simplification we can say the new volume will be equals to the old volume i'm working with transfer to volume old volume is 10 to the power of 8 or negative 8 i hope it is negative open bracket 1 plus gamma now this is alpha so the relation between alpha and gamma is you multiply by 3 hope you still remember gamma is equals to 3 alpha so just multiply 3 times the initial value here 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 5 now it may have going to be at work here so this is 3.6 times 10 to the power negative 5 per kelvin excuse me so i'm doing this directly watch this guys 3.6 I said it's my negative 5 times change in temperature. See, I will subtract 573 minus 273, and that is 300. So this is 300. I think it's even making sense. So we can see even if calculator is allowed, but even if it is not, this is 10 is per minus 8. Negative is equals to 1 plus. Look at what I will do. This is 3.6 times 10 is power minus 5 times this is 3 times 10 is power 2 so just to save my time now just say minus 5 plus 3 is minus 3 all i have here is 10 to the power of negative 8 open bra 1 plus i just do 3 times 3.6 3 is 18 i take 1 that's 10.8 3 times 3.6 should be 10.8 i'll make and confirm that times 10 is to power minus 2 so here all I need is 10.8 uh, divided by 100 plus 1. So it's even what I want. It's, it's going the way I wanted it. I can have the calculator. Please give me a calculator. Then. Thank you very much. Here, yeah, I have a calculator which I will use just to finalize my answer. So I say 10.8 divided by 100. Just do your own plus 1. Everything inside the bracket is 1.108. So if I multiply the answer times 10 to the power of uh, negative 8 sorry guys just have to use calculator i'm having 1.1 times 10 is power 1.108 times 10 is power negative 8 that's what i'm having so this is like saying 1.1 times 10 is power negative 8 so the percentage decrease is just 1.1 so this is meter cube this is a new new volume so if i have this i mean thank you now, if I have this as the new volume, remember the question says the percentage change of the volume. See, old volume, new volume. And if I take away this one, this, this on its own has gone, remain this. So if I go with percent, so the increased percent is just 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.11. So the correct answer to this should be, can I move on? Okay, thank you very much. So we have uh, the correct answer to this. So when I see my admin giving signals, I think I'm having an issue. So the correct answer to this, if I go by percentage change, you have change. You can say change is a new minus old over old times 100. I hope you understand that. New minus old. So this minus this over this times 100. So I'm going to have 1.1%. 1 .1%. So this minus this should be 1.1 over 10 is power 8 minus 8 times 100 something like this I'm having so if I just want to go directly I may not disturb myself that is a 1.1 percent please be careful directly you don't even need to disturb it if you subtract this minus this one you can see this and this will cancel out you are left with 1.108 so that's the percentage rate of change so this may not be needed I just try to show you because not everything you press on capital the next one thank you admin a temperature scale has a lower fixed point of 40 millimeter and an upper fixed point of 200 millimeter. What is the reading of the scale when the thermometer reads 60s? So this is uh, the concept of temperature under 
temperature and its measurement, which is also under the topic of expansion or expansivity. So directly we can apply formula. Applying formula, we can say this should be directly solution should be what type of thermometer we don't even know. So if you have the formula, you use your axometer grid. I think that one is common in secondary school. So but if you know the formula also, it is always the temperature will be equal to the initial length. What is the reading on the scale of the length at 60? So what you are looking for, I'll just take that as X. So I don't waste time. This one that might be not even giving me hand for, for time. X minus at zero degree as lower fixed point is 40. Over 100, at 100 is 200. Minus lower fixed point is 40. When this one was given to be 60. So just change this to 60. So anyhow, if you know the formula directly, if you are the type that use the other one, it's still the same thing. This is 0 0.6. This over here is 0 0.6. Multiply 200 minus this is 160 equals to x minus 40. I think this one will give you 6 over 10. 16 times 6. That's 90 is equals to x minus 40. So x is 90 plus 40 is 130. So this is what I'll be looking for. Is it 130? Let me do this 96. 96. So this should be 136. So please note that. And this is the correct answer. The next one, because of our time, a 500 kilogram car was initially at rest, traveled with an acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. What is the kinetic energy after 4 seconds? I think this is bonus. Kinetic energy is of half mv squared, or you say mv squared over 2. So directly here, we know the mass, nothing to convert. I think the mass is 500. We need the velocity. So if I is starting from this equation of motion, the equation of our, what we call our motion. The equation of motion should be v is equal to u plus at. But because it's starting from rest, it should be given directly as V is equals to 80. I'll just use 80 because it's U is 0 meters per second. So if V is equals to 80 directly, I can just solve. And if I solve that, what is A? A here is 5 and the time here is 4. So I can just say V equals to 80, 5 times 4. So directly I'm going to have 5 times 4, I'm going to have about 20. And that is better. So this is V equals to U plus 8. I'll just say 80 because it's progressed. That's 20 meters per second. So directly I can now say kinetic energy here is equals to half times mass, 500, times V squared, that's 20 times 20. So here we can say 2 year 1, 2 year 10. That is 10 times 20 is 200. 200 times 500 should be 10,000. So I'm 10,000 or 100,000, whatever. I'm not sure you can just do that. 500 times 10 is 5,000. 5,000 times 20 is uh, 100,000. And 100,000 should be 10 raised to the power 5. Do, 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 do. So BBB is correct. That's the answer to that. Next question, please. Question 14. The temperature at which the water vapor in the air saturates the air and begins to condense or to cool is called the dew point. Please, you can watch concept video. The next one, and me, please don't sleep on back. The next question. The next one says the period of a simple pendulum will increase by what factor if it's if its inextensible length increase by a factor of four. So, like I said the other time, I said period is proportional to square root of L. I think that was my first question or second question. So, if this is by a factor of four. So t will now be equal to square root of uh, of uh, four. What square root of four? That is what it will increase by what by two. We don't need to waste time on shorty shorty things like this. The next question we move. Thank you. Question sixteen. Question sixteen says an air column ten centimeter in length is strapped into a seal end of a capillary capillary tube by a 15 centimeter column of mercury with the tube edge vertically. 
I'm not going to draw. Admit, please take care of this thing. With the tube head vertically. So, on inverting the tube, the tube is now inverted. So, you understand that? The tube, on inverting the tube, the air column becomes 15. The air column becomes 15. So, if the air column becomes 15 centimeters long, what is the atmospheric pressure during this experiment? I hope you have studied the question, the topic of barometric flow. You can work under, under the topic of kinetic theory of gas on this channel. You see it, I've done a lot of examples of this type of question. So, so far we know, I'll just give you some quick question. Pressure equals to A plus H. If the tube is sitting down, pressure equals to A minus H. If the tube is inverted, and pressure equals to H. If the tube is what? Is on a straight line. These are three fundamental things you can keep in mind. So if I do that, from the concept of inversion, I'm not going to draw because of time. Apologies, time is not on my side. 16 of 25, I still have to do some other questions. I know I've used past 30 minutes. Yes, so I mean it's just going to give me 45 minutes to run this video. So I have 15 minutes to finish up. So if I do the concept, drawing that, initially, air column 10 centimeter in length. So if you draw, it should have been something like this. So then here. So this is what they call the air column. This is the mercury level. So atmospheric pressure is coming here. So A plus H. That's what we are talking about. So I'll just use the concept of Boyce's law. P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. Whereby I'm taking the volume as the length. Please note that. So I have 8. What's that? 8 minutes more. Okay, to 45 minutes. Yeah, wow. That means I have to be fast. That means that time is 8 minutes more to 45 minutes. So I'll be fast about that. Air column is 10 centimeter in length. So this guy is 10 centimeter. No explanation again. He's trapped in a sea level probably 15 centimeter of mercury. So 15 centimeter of mercury. So when it was inverted, this thing will be upside down. This top will come to the ground. So I'll just say pressure equals to A plus H for the first one. So I'll say A plus the height of these are. Uh, the height of this uh, mercury tube was said to be, I think the height is 10, I'm not mistaken. A plus, uh, let me make mistake please, because this is where the column is, uh, the length is 5. So A plus, uh, the this is 15, and the length is 10, is equals to when it was inverted, the length becomes uh, 15. And so inversion will now be equals to A minus 15. So please note that. So solve this mathematics. This should be 10 A plus 150 is equals to 15 A minus uh, 225. <laughs> Time is what I'm laughing. On simplification of this one, that's 15 A minus this one. That is 5 A is equals to, is this not 375? Admit and confirm 225. Is this 225 plus 150 should be 375? A is 375. I hope I am not cutting over 5. And that is 75 centimeters of mercury or 75 centimeters. Anyhow, you want to write it. So the correct answer to this should be choice B. Next question at me. Now, an electric cell has an internal resistance of 2 amps. A current of 0 0.5 amps was measured when a resistor of resistance 5 ohms. Please, there's an omission there. 5 ohms was connected across. Determine the electromotive force. I think this is elementary. Electromotive force is the sum total of the potential difference that is passing through the cell. That is the PD and the lost vote. PD is IR. Let's do it without wasting time. What is current 2? What is resistance 5? 2 times 5, 10. Plus current is 2. What is small r? Internal <laughs> resistance. Internal resistance is uh, what's the internal resistance? I just have to be careful here. What's the current? The current is 0.5. Yes, 0.5 times resistance is 5. 5 times 0.5 should be the first one. That's why you don't make. Let me write it out. The current is 0.5. You can even factorize into brackets. I'm bringing I R plus R. Same thing. What's big R? 5. What small r? Small r is 2. Thank you very much. So solving this one should be 3.5. That's 4.5 times 7 is 3.5.
input. So now we tally with choice A. Next question, Admin. I think that is cheap. The speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to power 8 meters per second. If the refractive index of light from air to water, less dense or rarer medium to a dense medium, is 4 by 3, 4 by 3. The question is, calculate the speed of light in water. We've talked about this one time and time again, that the refractive index we write as mu, so we write it as n, it's the same thing. From air to water is equal to velocity in vacuum in air over velocity in in water. I write water as H2 because of time. So the factor index is given as 4 by 3 or 4 by 3. Velocity of light in water we are looking for. The one in air is 3 times 10 to the power 8. You divide them by velocity. Let me just write it as V. So 3, 3 is a 9 when you cross multiply. So directly you can finish this as a 4V is equal to 9 times 3 times 3 is 9, 10 raised to power 8. So V equals to 9 over 4 times 10 raised to power 8. So V equals to 9 over 4 is 2.25 times 10 raised to power 8 meters per second. So you look for an option, option that look like that. Wow, I think this, thank God, we almost uh, have the same type of option. But I think that is correct. The next one. Okay, fine. Question 19. It is known that atomic nucleus comprises of positively charged proton. Which of the following exists in the nucleus? So, the nucleus contains of the nucleus of an atom. Atom contains proton, neutron, and electron. So, proton and neutron are what is found inside. So, proton is there and neutron is also there. So, neutron is the second one. Nothing to solve. Next one. Question 20. The silver wall of a vacuum flask prevent talking about thermal flask, heat and thermodynamics are available on this channel. So silver double wall prevent it by radiation. So place wait wait yes silver wall of a vacuum flask prevent radiation. Hundred percent. Next one please. The next one says the electromagnetic wave that are sensitive to the temperature changes. Is that under electromagnetic wave is also available on this channel. You can watch different type gasoline, some abbreviation we've given, and how they are formed. We can quickly talk about them, but because of time factor, my admins are not they are not they are not gentlemen. I'm sorry to say that online, but I know them, they will just tell me your time is up, please just just conclude whatever you are doing. So the one form as a result of each sensation is called what infrared ray. So gamma ray, you know it is formed. In the nucleus of a what radioactive substance. Let's read. We've talked about that by what? By eating what? Electron on what? On coolant tube, on a target material. I've talked about that under the Jupiter physics talk. But because of time, let's go to the next question. 22. Under constant tension and constant mass per unit, like we call rule. This is question on media experiment. The note produced by the astronomical wire, you call it, by a block string is 500 parts. When the length of the string is 0 .0, 0 0.90 meter, the question is at what length is the frequency a 158? So, for according to the experiment, we say frequency is proportional to there are two types, to be honest. That's why I love teaching concept. Media experiment, I think it will soon be available on this channel. Don't worry. We have uh, we talk about different type of of uh, waves. You know what I mean by that longitudinal and transverse so it can be one over l or one over twice the length so what i'm saying is that the frequency is inverse proportional to length so on simplification the very, the other things is uh because we've turned it for different oxidation and different loops it is called media experiment the formula is written as one over twice the length i'm using longitudinal wave with tension over a row and this rule is mass by unit. you can keep this formula in mind for future use because it will help you Frequency is proportional to square root of ten tension. So going by this, we can say F that rule can also be written as mu. F one L one equals to F two L two. So directly we just substitute the first frequency is five hundred. The first length is, is zero point ninety. I think we are looking for the second length. The second frequency is one fifty times L two. So we can cut my way. 
If you cut my way, you don't need to waste time. Ferrogate can also help. I hope you can see. We can also do some other things. This can go in this way. If you are just a beginner, you can turn this one times 0 0.9 times 9 by 10. Then this is 50. And when we year 1, year 5, 5 times 9 is 45. So 50 times this one is 45. You don't need to cancel like this. Calculator is allowed. It's 15 L2. 15 times what is 45? 15 kilos. So L2 is equal to 3 million. So this is my own way. You can use your own way. It's not necessary to follow the way of the teacher in as much as the formula. The next question. So the last but one question we call penultimate question. We have two body P and Q are, are projected on the same initial speed. The U is the same. But at different angles of, this is not 300. Apologies. I'm very sure it is not 300. I'm very sure it is. Because you cannot get angle of 300 degrees, 30 degrees, and uh, 60 degrees. Apologies, guys, for my admin. Accept the apology, guys. The horizontal, okay, the horizontal, the, the horizontal, respectively, okay, they are projected at this angle to the horizontal, respectively. We are to neglect air resistance. What is the ratio of the range of the projector? The range of a projector is given from formula under your projector motion. Motion in 2D, right? It's given as U. I just play, I still remember formula. U squared sine 2 theta by G. Don't mind me. I derive formula most time, so I don't come there. So that's why I said I just try to remember formula. So here, because they are, this thing is the same. Then I can say directly, yeah, there exists two angles. What is that? What I do, do teach in A level. So I don't think we need to disturb ourselves. A range of projectile is proportional to twice two times the angle of projection. So, what are the different angles? So, directly, not to waste time. Range is uh, proportional to sine, 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 sine of two times this. You know, there is a sine here, so please note that. So, sine of uh, the first one is just. And then the sign of 2 times the first angle is 2 times 30 is 60. The second range, all right, that has R2, is sign of uh, 2 times uh, 60 is what? 120. So compare these two angles. Sign 60 is same as 120. So that means the range is 1 ratio. The value is the same. You can try it. Sign 60 is uh, root 3 over 2. Or basically, you say 0 0.8660. So 120. Sign is said to be positive in the second quadrant. Relax, relax, relax. So what we are saying is that this value is equal to this value. So that means one over one. You can try it. This is a root three over two. And this is also root three over two, which you call open. So root three over two ratio root three over two. What is that? One ratio one. Admit whether they like it or not. They will give me five minutes more from what from the time whether they like it or not so i don't know if i'm still in time so the last question for today i'm sorry thank you very much maybe this question will take my time but i will make sure we all solve it together the question says a capacitor of 2.0 times 10 by negative 11 fat and an inductor are joined in series they are in series the value of the inductance that we give the circuit resonant frequency of 200 kilowatt conversion. First time I'm converting today is that at resonant, inductive capacitive reactant is equal to inductive reactant. Maybe I leave this capacitive reactant is 2 pi Fc, and this guy is 1 over 2 pi Fn. Some of you just know the formula for resonant frequency directly is a 1 over 2 pi root 1 over Lc or 2 pi root Lc anyhow so please be careful about that any of these can be used I just prefer using this because I want to make L so there from I'm looking for the inductor so doing that I'm gonna have L equals to if I cross multiply can see this one will give you if you want to know it will be 1 over this is 4 pi square I hope you can see that f square also, then you have a c. So this is just the formula I'm going to use. I can see, to the best of my knowledge, all answers are 1 over 1 over 1 over. 
so I cannot run away. So the options are all one over, one over. To be honest, my admin here, they are sleeping. Only one of them is sleeping. The other is still wide awake. So solving this one, we just substitute. And if you substitute in the calculator work, that's why I'll just finish it directly. One over. Then we have four times. You can just do your calculator. 3.142 square times. Look at this. Uh, frequency square. Look at the frequency. This is, you multiply by 1,000. Kilo. Kilo is times 1,000. So look at what I would do. I'll just say 200 times 1,000. Then square of it. You know what it means? So this is 2 times 10 is power 2 times 10 is power 3 squared. Just for beginners, 2 squared is 4. 10 is power 2 squared is 10 is power 4. 10 is power 3 squared is 10 is power 6. Hope you understand that. So this is 4 times 10 is power 10. So I'll just write f squared as a 4 times 10 is power 10 times the last guy is a 2 times 10 is power minus 11 times 10 is power minus 11. So manage that. So now, if you press all this thing here, add me, you are going to have 1 over 32, right? Mm -hmm. 32. Yeah. So that will be the right answer to the last question. And that option will tally with, see, these two options are the same, but I don't give a them. So the doctor is measuring Henry. D will be correct, guys. And this is exactly where I'm going to stop for today, what OAU pursuit here in question. So like I do say, if you find anything interesting, you can consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any request video or what you want us to help you do, send it to us on this channel or by writing an email to Mosti Academy. So I will see you guys soon. Do have a wonderful time and bye for now. Thank you.